because when you get a tattoo, the ink goes under your skin, right? It goes, it's not on your skin. It's not like a paint. It's actually under your skin. So that kind of makes sense. Hmm. Inside your immune your tattoos are inside your tattoo. immune system, literally. With each very tattoo. tasteful piece of art, you kickstart a drama with millions of deaths, grand sacrifices, and your immune system stepping in to protect you from yourself. Okay. Let's give you yeah. a tattoo and zoom in to see what happens inside your skin. Already. The conveyor belt of death. Your skin has to. Wait, why is there an ant there? Solve a huge problem. Where'd the it's ant your come largest from? organ and has the most direct contact with the world around you. Trillions of microbes, dirt, insects, and vermin can't be allowed to get inside you. But your skin is also constantly damaged by you moving through the world. Mm -hmm. Your body solves it's just this by making your forever. skin a conveyor belt of death. All the skin you see is actually dead stuff. The alive part of your skin cells begins around one millimeter deep in the skin industrial complex. Really? I didn't know that. So all the skin that you can see is actually dead. Huh. Stem cells constantly clone themselves, producing new skin cells that begin a journey from the inside to the outside. Each new generation pushes the older ones further up. Okay. As your skin cells mature, they interlock with each other and it's oversimplified, yeah. bodies. Tiny bags that squirt out fat to create a waterproof coat that closes any gaps between them. All right. And then they dry out and kill themselves, merging together into inseparable lumps. You know, that that's the wonderful thing about our bodies is all the cells, they just, they know what to do. They know what needs to be done. And they will sacrifice themselves gladly for the greater good of the bigger organism, which is us. It's amazing. If human society functioned that way, the stuff we could do. This wall of dead corpses is consistently pushed <laughs> upwards. Up to 50 layers of dead cells yeah. cover your whole body and are constantly replaced by new cells moving up. Really? Every hour, you shed around 200 million dead skin cells and all the dirt or bacteria that are stuck to them. Man, I really got to do something about this brightness. Look how flushed out I am right now. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to have to figure that out. I don't know why. My monitor will not let me adjust the brightness, and it's just stuck on 100%. I factory defaulted it. I set it all back, and it just still won't let me. I don't know. Tattooing this part of your skin Tattoo. would be useless as nothing would stick around. We need to... Is that how people pronounce it? I've always said tattoo. Is it supposed to be tattoo? Or, yeah, I don't know. To go deeper. When the fleshy world explodes, below the conveyor uh -huh. belt of death lies the dermis. It's full of structural tissue and okay. cells, tiny blood vessels, sensory cells that report to nerve endings, the roots of your hairs, sweat glands regulating your temperature, and of course, loads of immune cells guarding right. your flesh right below the moving border wall. This region and below is where your new tattoo will go. Okay, <laughs> Stop it. Ready? The world explodes. Is it really tattoo? Half a dozen monoliths the size of skyscrapers slam through the 50 layers of dead cells deep into the dermis, ripping huge holes no, into the skin. No, it's not tattoo, right? Only to retreat and smash through the tissue again about twice a second. Tens of thousands of cells are violently killed right away, ripped into pieces, or damaged beyond repair. Luckily, you did your research and chose a responsible tattoo two artist who properly disinfected their tools and your skin. But you only ever get 99.9% yeah. .9 of all bacteria, and some of the survivors made it into your flesh. Yeah, so it's just it mildly, kind of like injected your in there. system is not amused at all. All the death and destruction wakes up hundreds of thousands of macrophages in your dermis that rush hey, we learned the about the macrophages. to defend you. Immediately, they start killing bacteria, release chemicals that call for reinforcements, and order your blood vessels to open up and make your dermis swell up with fluid. But worse than the hundreds of wounds and a few invaders is the tidal Oops. wave of chemicals that floods your tissue. Uh huh. Tattoo ink can be made from hundreds Stop of substances. It. Some may even be toxic or carcinogenic. It's not tattoo. Come on. Like lead, I have not been saying it wrong my whole life. In distilled water. The battlefield is now a wild mix of dead cell parts. No, a few I refuse to believe that. Blood and bodily fluids, platelet cells trying to close wounds, more and more fresh immune cells, and the flood of tattoo ink. 
on the scale of your cells, <sighs> clumps of ink particles are huge. If you were the size of a cell, they'd range from big dogs to small office buildings. Oh, okay. Your immune system a has bit one of a main scale job. There. Identify what is not you and smash it until it's dead. We learned about neutrophils, too. The are desperately trying to do that. Like tiny octopuses, they extend arm-like structures and begin pulling the ink particles inside. Usually, when a macrophage has eaten an enemy, it showers it in acid to dissolve it. Uh -huh. But this doesn't work with the ink. They try and try, but nothing works. The particles don't react in any way. So and this is just the particles small enough to be devoured. By now, the larger chunks are surrounded by thousands of your structural skin cells and macrophages that are numbing on them, bathing them in acid and attack chemicals, trying to destroy and kill them. But they're not moving even a tiny bit. Yeah. Nothing works. Finally, your immune system has to concede. It will not win this fight, so it does the next best thing, not lose. Your cells <laughs> don't know how dangerous these metals That's what and I chemicals do. are, Every but day. they can at least not let them spread around. So they just stay in place. They vacuum up all the particles they can fit into their bodies and surround the larger ones, trapping them in the only prison they can build themselves. Bit huh. by bit, the ink inside thousands of tiny wounds moves inside millions of immune cells that freeze in place forever. On the outside, you don't notice any of this. Yeah. Your new tattoo is fresh and the colors are vibrant. Your skin hurts and is irritated and swollen. But wounds heal, tiny holes close, dead cells are replaced. Bit by bit, the conveyor belt of death does its job, Keeps shedding going dead cells on and on and color, on. replacing them with fresh and clean ones. Your tattoo becomes a little less vibrant now the ink is no longer on your skin, but inside it. So that's why but they what fade. what you're really seeing is millions of your macrophages sitting in your dermis, huh. patiently holding the ink in place, that's protecting really cool. your body from poison. Your immune system is why your tattoo is forever. Actually, nothing is forever. Over time, your macrophages get old and die, and new ones come in to gobble up the ink and keep it in place. But mm -hmm. sometimes, a tiny bit of ink escapes. Most of it is recaptured and locked in place, but not always the exact same place. You notice that as your tattoo fades out a bit mm -hmm. and turns less sharp and crisp at its edges. Some of the ink I always wondered why that happened. Entirely. It rides fluids flowing from your tissue and spreads around your body. Another huh. reason why tattoo ink should ideally not be poison. Your immune system <laughs> well, also kind of You don't need to be a scientist to know that, right? To do that, <laughs> the ink is shot at with lasers, which heats up the particles until they break into smaller chunks, cooking your brave macrophages in the process. With every huh. round of lasering, more of your tattoo is so broken bright. down and carried away by oh fluids. My God. But also, every time, new macrophages rush into the tattoo to lock the ink in place. Ah, so I gotcha. Like, mm, maybe think about it carefully before you get the <laughs> name of your new bay tattooed. <laughs> you do you. But if you've got one, you... We all know that one person who uh, did that with a tattoo, who tattooed someone's name on their body and now regrets it. We all know someone like that. <laughs> can directly see your immune system protecting you. This is how much your body loves you, which is kind of sweet. That's and so while cool. tattoos are probably not that big of a deal for your body if applied correctly, you now know about the struggle going on inside your skin and the sacrifice of your macrophage buddies only for you to have that art forever. Someone needs to get that tattoo. It, or I'm sorry. Someone needs to get that tattoo. <laughs> To appreciate your amazing immune system, you have to know about it first. The advertisement the goes for anything going on in our universe. Yeah. To help you with that, we've created a series of lessons to take your scientific knowledge to the next level. Is Made this on brilliant? With our friends at Brilliant.org, these lessons let you further explore the topics in our most popular videos. I remember that from the Lysa virus video. That was a good one. But yeah, these guys are absolutely amazing. I love Kurzgesagt. I can never give them enough praise. It's always, always super entertaining, informative, and simple enough that even I can get it, which is pretty cool. So that's, yeah, I love these guys.